Thanks to Brilliant for supporting this episode of SciShow. Go to brilliant.org slash scishow to check out their classical mechanics course. Worldwide, scientists have cataloged more than 45,000 species of spiders. And in that number, there's a lot of room for variation. Like, there are all kinds of ways a spider can catch prey, but few species are as extreme as the slingshot spider. While others might wait for their prey to get caught in a sticky web, the slingshot spider uses its web to fling itself forward so fast it puts fighter pilots to shame. Slingshot spiders are native to the Peruvian Amazon, and at first glance, they seem like your everyday arachnid. In fact, at no more than a centimeter in length, they're easy to miss, unless you're an insect and they're shooting straight at you. The trick to their acrobatics comes from how they build their webs. While other spiders form flat webs, slingshot spiders work in three dimensions, making conical webs several times larger than their bodies. Then, at the tip of the cone, they attach a single thread called the tension line. When the spider is ready to hunt, it tugs that line with its back legs, pulling it taut. Then, when it spots a potential meal, it releases the tension line for a split second, and the spider and web shoot toward their target together, and ensnare their prey. The whole trap only flies forward a few centimeters, but it covers that distance with astonishing speed, four meters per second. That's about the pace of a jogging human, and while it doesn't sound too impressive at first, the spider gets to that speed by accelerating 100 times faster than a cheetah. To give a little more comparison, scientists commonly measure accelerations using g-forces. One g equals the acceleration an object feels when falling. The world's most intense roller coaster hits around 6 Gs, while the pilot of a fighter jet can withstand about 13 Gs before blacking out. But when the slingshot spider releases its trap, it experiences 130 Gs. That's the fastest known acceleration of any arachnid. And while we still don't know how the little spider survives these G-forces, it's possible that its hard exoskeleton helps hold it together. The web's construction also seems to make all of this possible. On a normal day, spider silk is one of the strongest materials we know about. Even so, it's kind of amazing that the slingshot spider's web manages to survive under the strain of such incredible acceleration. And that sturdiness is probably due to its shape. Researchers think that the web's conical shape helps the force dissipate through the web, allowing the web to retain its structure. Now, slingshot spiders aren't the only cool spiders out there, and they aren't the only ones to use their webs as traps. For instance, triangle spiders also form webs attached to an anchor line. Then when the prey gets near, they release the line, launching the web towards their prey like a net. But slingshot spiders are faster, and they have an added advantage. By only releasing the tension line a little bit at a time, they can reuse the same web instantly and repeatedly, regripping the tension line and essentially reloading the trap if they miss. So when it comes to hunting speed and ingenuity, the slingshot spider definitely has eight legs up on the competition. If you want to learn more about the physics that powers biology like this, you might want to check out the classical mechanics mechanics course from Brilliant. If the phrase classical mechanics is giving you the heebie-jeebies, know that, like all Brilliant's courses, it's highly interactive and accessible. The course is about predicting the motion of certain systems, and if you want to check it out, you can do so on Brilliant's website or on their iOS and Android apps. If you're interested, you can sign up at brilliant.org scishow and get 20% off the annual premium subscription.